The World Health Organization reports that tobacco kills more than 7 million people every year. That's about one person every five seconds. Tobacco is responsible for more, than, for more deaths than HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. Today, I'll be talking about why we need to ban the use and sale of tobacco. I've always known tobacco is unhealthy, but it wasn't until my grandpa, a lifelong smoker, died of lung cancer that this issue struck me personally. I started to take more interest in this problem, and after his passing, I started to fear for my uncle, another lifelong smoker, as well as my older sister, who's been smoking before she could even legally buy cigarettes. I've done extensive research on this topic, and now more than ever, I believe we need to ban tobacco. Being the youth of today, you decide the fate of our world in the future. Someday you'll be making policies and hopefully creating a cleaner, healthier world for us all to live in. I will be explaining to you the massive global tobacco epidemic and how we can take a step forward in solving it by banning tobacco. First of all, first of all, the epidemic. This problem is not exclusive to one country or region. Tobacco is a worldwide epidemic and it's causing severe problems. It's a huge public health threat, it's probably the largest we've ever seen. Uh, a March 2018 report from the World Health Organization found that 80% of the world's 1 billion smokers live in low and middle income countries. This report also found that tobacco kills more than 7, people, 7 million people every year. 6 million of those from tobacco products, and 1 million from secondhand smoke effects from cigarettes. The effects on an individual's body are horrendous. Tobacco affects nearly every organ in your body. It causes cancer, but you probably knew that, so I'm going to point out some things you probably didn't know. An article in smokefree.gov explains how tobacco can cause things like a bigger belly and higher risk for diabetes, as well as lower estrogen levels in females. It also points out how smoking can scar lungs, causing short breaths and wheezing. Not only this, but it countless negative effects on your heart, such as increased risk of heart disease, increase in cholesterol, and higher blood pressure. So now we know what the epidemic is and how it affects individuals and society as a whole. So now it's time to explain how we can fix it. This epidemic may seem vast and out of control, but it is a man-made problem that we can reverse. I believe the solution is to completely ban tobacco worldwide. There have been several initiatives since the 60s that have had a positive effect. These things include things like banning pro-tobacco advertisements, putting the Surgeon General warning on products, and airing anti-smoke ads. Although the general public's knowledge of the harmful effects of tobacco has risen, and smoking has decreased, there's still far too many people still using these products. A recent study published in the BMJ journals by Dr. Robert Proctor explains how smoking in the 20th century killed only 100 million people, as, whereas a billion could perish in our century unless we reverse course. We need to totally ban the sale and use of all tobacco products worldwide. If this is the case, there will be far less people using these products, ideally none. There are always those who break the law and a complete ban of anything can't be expected to be followed as we witness with other things like criminalized drugs. Since 2007, there has been a ban on smoking in indoor public places and workplaces, along with restaurants, bars, coffee shops, and nightclubs. There was backlash to this policy change at first, but it was effective. And I think we can do the same thing with a complete ban worldwide. In conclusion, tobacco is a dangerous and useless product. I hope I helped you understand why. We've learned what the tobacco epidemic is and some destructive side effects of this industry, along with how we can reverse uh, this, this problem through a complete ban. I'd like to close this off with a quote from Nelson Mandela. It always seems impossible until it's done.